Neil and I decided to take a romantic trip to St. Lucia. We luxuriated, swam, snorkeled, jet skied, and had an all around blast. Come along with us, see what we did. So we started our trip in Miami where we stayed overnight at the EB Hotel. Check out our other video of the room tour we did of the EB Hotel. Anyway, the EB Hotel provides a shuttle to the airport, which is about five, 10 minutes down the road. So made it really easy for us. Quick stroll through the Miami airport. This particular trip happened to be Neil's birthday, so you know he had to treat himself to something special. So we stopped off in one of the airport shops and he treated himself to a pair of shades. <laughs> Now he's starting to make it a tradition to get a pair of Ferrari Ray-Bans every time it's his birthday, so he's making a little collection of his own. <laughs> After some quick shopping, we saw Starbucks and headed over to get our very much needed caffeinated beverage. Tell me guys, why is there always a long line for Starbucks? The flight from Miami to St. Lucia is about three and a half hours. So make sure you bring something to entertain yourself for the flight. January until December is the rainy season and the hurricane season stops in November, in a lot of part of November. The currency being used on the island is Eastern Caribbean currency. The exchange rate in US to the EC is between 2.5 and 2.7. Okay? If you're going to use your credit card away from the hotel, make sure you have a form of ID. The denomination in the US to work with are 20s singles, tanks, and 50s. The $100 note is not readily accepted because of the quantum case going on. The average temperature is about 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Today is about 88, which is about 33 degrees centigrade. Okay, the water in your resort is the, the beach area. It's about 79 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about 20, uh, 22, 23 Celsius. Today sunsets at 6.26 and rise at um, 5.23. So basically you have a full day of sun. We have no daylight saving time, it's standard time. Yeah. Our main industry as your way is tourism. Most of our tourists do come from the US. Really? Yeah. And then the UK, and then Canada, and then throughout the Caribbean. At the moment we have been bombarded with lots of seaweed on our shores. When rot, it, it emits a smell, a very foul smell, which you've taken now. So when you do take the smell, sorry, it wasn't me, okay? <laughs> we in the mango season. We have lots of mangoes on the island. You like mangoes? I do. Okay, we, we have about <laughs> We have about 52 types of different mangoes on the island. So you see lots of them as we traverse the road. Also, 52 have, different types? 52 different types. We have lots of bananas, which is our main export, which is shipped to the UK. Bananas are good for you, it's high in potassium, it's good because she needs to go and make princesses. <laughs> so when the princesses, you come and eat it. Because it did look 
some of the things look familiar, but I just didn't recognize. Yeah. Most of the vehicles we do have come from Japan, okay. uh, which means they meets the international safety standards. very quickly um, perishable they're very much quick perishables mm -hmm. so we do export them they're very quick to perish and lots of it about 80 percent again goes to waste not enough mouse yeah not enough mouse to actually consume them these are very Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like soon as as soon as I put the camera the down. Corner, like, oh, get that! <laughs> you got it? Nope. <laughs> I got this one though. Okay, I'll move on. Okay, you got that? Sandra's house here. Okay, you got the other one. Okay. Sandra's the top. Okay, pass again. Got it. You got it? Got it? Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> In the roundabout. That's what I was able to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the Castle's Harbour. It's one of the world's deepest natural harbour. So, to find the depth, you have to jump in. <laughs> so, this could take at least five vessels to push a vessel. So. Wow. Okay. And this sometimes during the hurricane season, it's a shelter. <laughs> well, the biggest boat in there is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Want to continue? Hmm? And to continue? Do you want yeah. to continue? Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> Just ask him. <laughs> this is your home for the week. Yep. Have yourself a wonderful home. Yeah, 
having too much fun. Can't be having all that fun in. Hey, what's our room number? Seven something. Yeah, I can't log on because I don't know what the room number is. Um. Oh. I couldn't know, I couldn't remember if it was 705. Now I'm FaceTiming. Hey. As you can imagine, work hard, play hard, right? On a beautiful island like this, we spend a lot of time napping and relaxing by the pool or on the beach. I can't see your face. That's because I'm dark. My tan is bone weak. <laughs> Literally, I <laughs> you're invisible. <laughs> That we ordered or what it was that we were eating. Here you're seeing remnants of the crunchy French toast. Banana, French, banana toast, French toast, bacon, orange juice, passion fruit, and here they have uh, open face omelets that you can have made to order. Choose whatever ingredients you would like to enjoy. Trying to get these little birds. They're so funny. There's all these little birds that are waiting to pounce on the leftover food. And I was trying to show you earlier, there were like 20 birds. Hey, do you write the attack the bread first? Yeah, they like bread. <laughs> Let's see what Neil's out here doing. It's like 7 30 in the morning we decided to have breakfast brought to our room um and our brother just dropped our food off and literally i start digging in immediately it's like when food comes i totally forget i'm supposed to be bringing you guys in on the experience so let me show you our spread uh let's see what do we have here we have french toast fresh fruit coffee Orange juice, omelets with hash browns. I think that's it, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're ready to dig in. As you can see, <laughs> I've already taken a bite. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> What's in your omelet? Eggs, bacon. Eggs are an omelet. Okay. Cheese, peppers, <laughs> onions. Bacon? A lot of love. That's bacon. Oh, okay. Lots of love. Okay, so pass through the spa. Who's that? Oh yeah, that's the event space. I see some scaffolding and lantern is very pretty. Where's the other side? The other side? Look at the water. How beautiful. Just as I imagined, it's empty. <laughs> There's nobody in here. Let's get her in and infuse water. Free weights. So this is at the front. Everyone loves the gym. As you can guess, we're on a tropical island, it rains a lot. Usually when it rains, it'll rain and then stop and rain and stop. This particular day, it was sunny outside, but it was still, as you can see, raining. The rain made it a little bit of a challenge to get some good drone footage. On this particular day, we decided to do an excursion. I think this one was called the JJ Cruise, in which we cruised on a speedboat to see the Pitons. They gave us a tour of the island. We went to Soufre, I think that's how you say it, to see the volcano and bathe in the mud. We snorkeled at the base of the Pitons, and then we had lunch in Mary Go Bay. Now, the crew and the other tourists on the boat, let me tell you, the atmosphere was so fun. The music was bumping, and on the way back, we all were feeling real good after the rum punch. After some snorkeling at the base of the Pitons, we arrived at Soufre where we got on a shuttle to take us up to the volcano.
Unfortunately, I don't have any video footage for you because this stuff smelled like rotten eggs, the smell of sulfur, and I didn't want to get mud all over my phone. Marble Bank. After a nice lunch, we get back on the boat. You can see everyone has rum punch in hand. And we're just enjoying the scenes, enjoying the wind in our hair, and enjoying the beautiful day. So we just got home from our excursion on the JJ Cruise Speedboat Cruise Tour to Soufre and the volcano and we went to a waterfall and we come back to this. How cute is that? The boat doesn't really know how to take care of you. So, and I am so ready for that bath because I am absolutely filthy. So I come out of my room and it's another absolutely beautiful morning. Oh gosh, there's always hummingbirds out here. They love these little flowers right here. It's funny though. Look at them. They're all totally closed. <laughs> they haven't opened up yet. But the hummingbird was just out here. They're all closed. So I guess these are hibiscus. Hibiscus only open during a certain time of the day. And right now, majority of them are closed. But there's all these little hummingbirds that I'll try again to get a glimpse of. Would be bad. Jet skis. How's it going? She got sick. Yeah, if she didn't get sick, we would have done it today. Room, as you can see, is a wreck just a little bit. The patios are wet, it's been raining since yesterday.
right, so what is today? Friday? Friday. Friday, rain again. They needed it though. It, it's been hot as hell the last couple days, but I'm kind of over the rain now. Look at how lush and beautiful it is. Because now I want to get back out in the water and play. I don't remember if we showed you guys a, a view of the lover's pool. There's so many pools around here. I'm like discovering new spots of the property every day. Oh, there's a wedding today. Look at that. Gorgeous. Baby. Yeah. Where are we going today? I'm going to the crepe shop to get some coffee. If the sun comes out and the sun like it probably will. We will do one activity, which is rent some jet skis. Now the one thing that's a disappointment is the fact that the jet ski rentals are through another company. Sandals doesn't actually offer it anymore. Now the vendors that do it, right on the beach, so it's easy to get, but it's not offered through, I guess, a secure way of um, charging it. So just, just keep yourself in cash. It's about 60 bucks per 30 minutes. So if you want to do it for an hour, you're looking at 120 bucks. Everything else that Sandals does, you can just charge it to your room, use the same credit card information, and it just makes it a little easier that way. I guess I just have a little bit of issues with security when I'm in a different country. That's Toscanini's outside seating. Usually we're gonna be eating there after 5 p.m. And the sun sets around 5.30 here every night, so you get a beautiful sunset, but you know after that time the ocean's black. Yeah, that's true. But they are also open for breakfast though actually. Breakfast at Tuscanini's is a la carte, so you order from a menu. Right there if you see the blue building is Bayside. Bayside has a they're open for dinner. In the mornings, they have a buffet breakfast. And up those stairs, there is a really the lobby. Five. Okay, so Josephine's Crepery, and you can see on the other side of that, that's Dino's Pizzeria. So essentially, one side is crepes. Yes, it does. And one side is pizza. That's where you get your pizza. A look around this cute little shop. Can you believe we're all alone in here? Like this is the most delicious place in the resort. I just love it here. It never feels crowded. Keep forgetting to 
show you guys breakfast because I'm always so hungry as soon as it comes. It's destroyed. It's good? and he started barking at me. Watch it now. Listen to him. turned into two, two days turned into three. Uh, so it's been raining since I think Thursday. Yeah, now it's Saturday morning. It rained all night Saturday. It's so much water, you can see. The hot tub is literally at the brim, almost at the level of overflowing. And cool, look at the water level. It's completely filled. It's literally, it's literally at the brim. <laughs> Look around the pool, you can see the water line literally at the very tippy top of the pool. Anyway, I just thought that was funny, but we had a great time and sadly we are packing up to prepare to leave the island. Get one last gander on this beautiful day, this beautiful island. Well, thanks guys for coming along with us to St. Lucia. Hope uh, it was informative and entertaining. See you again next time on Where Are You At? Peace, love, and blessings. <laughs>